So it turns out that one of the most important things that we should be paying attention to post-workout is actually our levels of inflammation. So maybe it's not that post-workout shake with the protein and the carbs, maybe more about the inflammation in our bodies. You see, by and large, exercise reduces inflammation. Okay? It does this over a period of time simply because the reduction of adipocytes, basically a fancy way of saying fat cells. It's been pretty well known that fat cells cause inflammation. So of course, if we're reducing fat cells, we're going to reduce inflammation. So that's what the mainstream will tell you, that exercising reduces inflammation. And it's not incorrect, but there's another side to the equation. And it has to do with the inflammation that increases directly after a workout. That's right, inflammation actually increases after a workout. Mind blown. You see, long term, when you're working out over extended periods of time and you're working out every day, day over day, you have a reduction in cytokines. You have a reduction in biomarkers that indicate inflammation. Things like C-reactive protein, reductions in reactive oxygen species, an increase in antioxidant activity, all these good things. But directly after a workout, you have quite the opposite. You have an increase in C-reactive protein. You have an increase in reactive oxygen species and oxidative stress on the body. And you have an increase in leukocyte activity, meaning an increase in white blood cells. What does that simply mean in human terms? It means that your immune system is on high alert after a workout. You see, it has to do with two very important words. One is acute and one is chronic. You see, acute exercise is the short bout of exercise, looking at it day in and day out, today's workout. Chronic exercise is the big picture. This week, this month, how long have you been working out? How long have you been a healthy person? You see that acute exercise, the acute response is inflammation. And I'll explain exactly why and how it works. You see, when we're working out, we have a high level of oxidative stress because our cells are working faster. Everything is cranking at high speed. So what would normally be a nice little system that your body can keep up with, your body can't keep up with. So you have a high level of oxidative stress. Now the increase in cytokines, the things that cause inflammation, that happens simply because it's promoting healing. Inflammation is not a bad thing, okay? We need that swelling, we need that inflammation, we need those white blood cells in order to encourage healing. But have you ever stopped for a second to think that maybe that inflammation is why you get sore and why you can't recover and why you maybe can't go and do a hard leg workout on Monday and then do another hard leg workout on Wednesday? It's simply because you're not recovered because you still have a lot of inflammation going on. So the trick is, shorter workouts so we can control the inflammation, but also paying attention to what you're doing post-workout. And now it's time to talk about something that's honestly somewhat of a miracle when it comes to inflammation, but a unique way to implement it into your lifestyle to boost muscle recovery and boost your recovery in general so you can get back in the gym and back in amazing shape. It has to do with curcumin, the bioactive component of turmeric. And I've got an interesting study that brought this all to light. You see, 2007, there was a study that looked at mice, okay? And what this study looked at was mice that ran uphill on a treadmill and downhill on a treadmill. And then they classified them into groups, a group that had curcumin and a group that did not. And then they divided them into three additional groups. Okay, one group, they measured all their biomarkers of inflammation, their cytokines. Another group, they measured their activity voluntarily on their little exercise wheel for the next seven days after the initial workout. So how much they were willing to go and step on their spinning wheel. Okay, then the last group they sectioned off, they measured how much they would work out two days after the initial workout. So how long they would actually work out for. Well, the results were pretty eye-opening. You see, in all cases, the groups that took curcumin had extremely positive results. The group that had their cytokines measured, well, they had a dramatic reduction in inflammatory cytokines and inflammatory biomarkers. Then, the group that was measured with voluntary wheel running, well, those mice happened to step on their exercise wheel two to three times more often than those that didn't take curcumin. That means that they were feeling good, they were feeling recovered and wanting to work out. Then the last group, they saw 20 to 30% more time on the treadmill two days after the initial workout, meaning they felt better, they had more stamina. And this, a lot of times, is voluntary. It doesn't really necessarily mean they were forced to do anything. What does this mean for you? 
It means that if inflammation is reduced after a workout, you are more than likely to go back into the gym and get a better workout, which means more workout cycles, which means more recovery, which means more fat burning, more muscle building, more feeling good. So what do I propose? Well, I essentially propose based on this hypothesis that you can reduce inflammation by taking some turmeric, that you start adding turmeric or curcumin to your post-workout shakes or your post-workout meal. I think it needs to become mainstream that we start adding these things to our post-workout meals more so, more importantly, than getting the right carbs or getting the right kind of protein. Because at the end of the day, inflammation is the root of disease. It's the root of everything. It's the root of our health and the root of who we are. So as always, keep it locked in here. Make sure to hit that share button. Make sure to subscribe. And if you have any other ideas on videos, particularly surrounding inflammation or turmeric, post them in the comment section below. And that way we can be sure to check them out and create some videos customized for you. See you in the next video.